Hi, this lesson is on indeterminate forms of the limit and L'Hopital's rule. So indeterminate form um, is when you are evaluating the limit of a quotient, which we're going to call the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x. And if by direct substitution, if you plug in a, if you end up with something like 0 over 0, um, which is not an answer, it's just a form, um, then that's considered to be an indeterminate form. So I'm right here. Um, similarly, if you take the limit of a quotient f of x over g of x, and by direct substitution, you get um, either uh, plus or minus infinity over plus or minus infinity, that's also considered to be indeterminate form. So L'Hopital's rule can be used to evaluate limits. So we've learned other ways to evaluate limits. L'Hopital's rule will be something new, um, but we can only apply L'Hopital's rule as long as it is in one of the indeterminate forms that I mentioned above. So what is the rule? So L'Hopital's rule says that suppose that f and g are differentiable and that g prime is not equal to zero on an open interval that contains the value a. And suppose that the limit as x approaches a is equal to zero and the limit as x approaches a, um, sorry, if the limit as x approaches a of f of x equals zero and the limit as x approaches a of g of x equals zero, or both of those limits are either going to plus or minus infinity, then, and this is the part where you're applying L'Hopital's rule, then the limit as x approaches a of f of x over g of x is equal to the limit as x approaches a of f prime of x over g of x, as long as those derivatives exist. Okay, so all that's saying is that you can take the limit of a quotient, and then as long as it is an indeterminate form, L'Hopital's rule means that you can take the limit of the individual derivatives of that quotient to evaluate it. And oftentimes that results in something that you can evaluate um, by direct substitution, and in other cases, it might be um, a little bit more work for you to do. All right, so here's an example. We want to evaluate the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over 4x. So first you have to figure out if it's in indeterminate form. And so I'm going to abbreviate that with the letters if, so I don't have to keep writing indeterminate form. Um, so Determining if it's in determinant form means just plugging in um, the value that x is approaching into the original function. So that's what you see here. I have the sine of 2 times 0 um, over 4 times 0. So the sine of 0 is 0 and 4 times 0 is 0. So this is in determinant form, the first type, which is 0 over 0. So what that means is that we can now use L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule means that you take your original function, the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over 4x, and you take the limit of the individual derivatives. So notice that here I put a little h on top of my equal sign. That h stands for L'Hopital's rule. So on the right, you see that I have the derivative of um, sine of 2x chain rule means that I have 2 cosine of 2x in the numerator, and the derivative of 4x is just 4. So you're not applying quotient rule to the original expression, which is a quotient. You're taking the individual derivatives of the numerator and the denominator. Okay, so now I'm going to check what would happen if I were to apply direct substitution. So by direct substitution, I now have 2 cosine of 2 times 0 over 4. Um, cosine of 0 is 1, so you have 2 times 1 over 4. And when you simplify that, you get that your limit value is equal to 1 half. So by using L'Hopital's rule, I reduced it down to a new expression, which you see here, which allowed me to get, um, which allowed me to use direct substitution and get an answer. All right, so let's look at another example. I want to evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the 3x over ln of x. So let's check for indeterminate form. That's what you see here. Um, so if I were to apply direct substitution, I would have e to the infinity over ln of infinity. Well, both of those functions go to infinity. So this is the second type 
infinity over infinity. So we want to use L'Hopital's rule in order to evaluate the limit. So L'Hopital's rule is here. It says that the limit as x approaches infinity of e to the 3x over ln of x, applying L'Hopital's rule, again, I put that little h there to show that, um, gives me the limit as x approaches infinity of 3e to the 3x. So this was found by doing chain rule. And the derivative of ln of x, well, that's just 1 over x. That's what you see here. So if you do a little bit of algebra, um, 3e to the 3x divided by 1 over x, that's the same as multiplying by x. So I have the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x e to the x. Well, as x approaches infinity, uh, this function, 3x e to the x, um, becomes very, very large very quickly. So this goes to infinity. So this is a limit that does not exist. All right, so we have to evaluate the limit as theta approaches zero of four cosine squared of theta minus four over three theta squared. So again, I'm gonna check for indeterminate form that's here by just doing direct substitution. By direct substitution, my numerator four cosine squared of zero minus four well, cosine of zero is one, so when you square it, it's still one. So my numerator is four minus four, so that's zero in the numerator. And if you plug in zero in the denominator, well, you get zero in the denominator. So remember, zero over zero is not an answer. It's an indeterminate form, meaning you can now use L'Hopital's rule. So you always have to do that check first. So L'Hopital's rule. Take my original limit, and I apply L'Hopital's rule. Again, I show that with that little h there. Um, and so on the top, you have to apply chain rule. So I get um, 8 cosine of theta times uh, the derivative of cosine. Sorry about that. The derivative of cosine, which is a negative sign. Um, and my denominator's derivative is just 6 theta. So my numerator, when I simplify here, is negative 8 cosine theta sine theta over 6 theta. So if I were to plug in 0 directly into that um, expression indicated here with the arrow, um, I would get 0 over zero, 0 over 0 again. So I still have an indeterminate form, which means I can apply L'Hopital's rule again. In fact, you can apply L'Hopital's rule many times if you keep getting indeterminate form. So this time, my derivative is a little bit more work. Um, I'm going to apply L'Hopital's rule again here. Um, but because I have a product in my numerator, negative 8 cosine theta sine theta, I have the work here for product rule here on the side. So my f is negative cosine x. My g is sine, uh, sorry, negative cosine of theta. My g is sine of theta. My f prime is 8 sine of theta, and my g prime is cosine of theta. So you put that together, together into the product rule formula right here. And the derivative of the denominator is just 6. So um, when you simplify the numerator, after you plug in uh, product rule, you get this result here, negative 8 cosine squared of theta plus 8 sine squared of theta over 6. So now let's see if direct substitution will work. So I plug in 0. Remember, once you're doing direct substitution, you drop the limit in front of the expression. So I have negative 8 cosine squared of 0 plus 8 sine squared of 0 over 6. So uh, cosine of 0 is 1. So my first um, expression is negative 8 times 1. And the second one is 8 times 0 because sine of 0 is 0 all over 6. So that leaves us with um, negative 8 over 6, which reduces down to negative 4 thirds. And so that's our limit value, where we have to apply L'Hopital's rule twice. OK, here's another one. We want to evaluate the limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed plus 2x over e to the x. So my indeterminate form is infinity over infinity. As x becomes larger and larger, my numerator goes to infinity, but so does e um, go to infinity. So that means you can use L'Hopital's rule. 
All right, so we have the limit as x approaches infinity of x cubed plus 2x over e to the x. So we apply L'Hopital's rule here. Again, I indicate that with a little h. So I have the limit as x approaches infinity of 3x squared plus 2 over e to the x. So remember, um, to get 3x squared plus 2, I just took the derivative of the numerator, that's just power rule, and the derivative of e to the x, well, that's just itself. So that's why the denominator is still e to the x. But as x approaches infinity, it's still an indeterminate form of infinity over infinity. So I use L'Hopital's rule again, right here. Take the derivative of the numerator, that's 6x. Denominator is still e to the x. That is still in determinate form, so it's still going to infinity over infinity. So I apply L'Hopital's rule one more time. So I get 6 over e to the x. That is no longer in determinate form. My numerator is a constant, so that's not going to infinity. So I have 6 over e to the x, which means I have 6 over a number that's getting very, very large very quickly. So 6 over infinity means that my value is 0. Okay, here's another one. I want to evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of x squared minus 1 over x minus 1. If you were to apply direct substitution, in other words, plug in 1, you would get 0 over 0. That's indeterminate form. That means we're ready to use L'Hopital's rule. So with L'Hopital's rule, um, you take the derivative of the numerator and the denominator, and it simplifies immediately down to something much simpler, which is just 2x over 1, and by direct substitution, you get 2. Okay, but I wanted to show you this example to show you that um, we were actually doing problems like this earlier before we learned L'Hopital's rule because this limit can also be evaluated with algebraic methods. So this just gives you another option in this case. So if I take the limit of the original function um, and factor the numerator, so you have uh, what you see here, I have the limit as x approaches 1 of x plus 1 over x minus 1. Well, when you factor, um, the x minus 1s will cancel, and so you just need to evaluate the limit as x approaches 1 of x plus 1, um, and then you can apply direct substitution, and you get 1 plus 1 equals 2, so we get the same answer with either L'Hopital's rule or by using algebraic methods. But L'Hopital's rule is very powerful. Um, oftentimes, algebraic methods um, will not work or are very inconvenient, um, so you want to make sure that you understand this rule. Okay, so you should try the homework. Good luck.